Hello my data science friends, hope you are having a wonderful day. I am Deepan Chakwal and you are watching Tech University. Today I will be talking about another data science course that is coming your way from University of Calgary, situated in Calgary, Canada. So in this video I will be telling about the eligibility criteria, how to apply, minimum requirements, country specific requirements, everything about this course. So stay tuned to the last of this video to know everything about this beautiful course. And if you like the video, please subscribe to the channel and do share this video with your friends who are looking for data science courses. Now if we talk about the University of Calgary, so this university is situated in Calgary, Canada as I told you. So Calgary is a city in the Alberta state and this university has got a world rank of 235 which is very good considering the Canadian institutions are getting too much of recognition these days and the status is public of course. Research output very high, student faculty ratio is very good, 12 is to 1. International students are close to 6800 already. If we talk about the subject rankings so this course is offered by the department of science and business combined so if you see the business uh, rankings they have got a, a world rank in the rank band of 201 to 250 and the graduate employability ranking is equally nice you know 131 to 140 is a very decent rank in graduate employability ranking so this is one such top university in canada that you can target for now if we talk about this course so this is the main landing page of this course and uh, this is the very first thing that uh, every course at university gives the program overview so you will be studying data science which is developed collaboratively by the faculty of science Haskin school of business and coming school of medicine so there are three schools that are collaboratively providing you this course and uh, students are provided with multidisciplinary education in data science and analytics that leverages the expertise of leading researchers and instructors at the university so uh, you will be exposed to many concepts and tools uh, across context, multiple context, industries and sectors. Uh, there are three specializations in this course that are data science, business analytics or health data science. So if you pursue this masters, you will be getting to choose one of these three specializations that totally depends on you what you want to pursue. So for this course, what you have to do is complete core courses. Uh, which is working with data and visualization, statistical data analysis, statistical modeling with data and big data management. And then four courses in one specialization area. As I told you that data science, business analytics or health data science and biostatistics, three different specializations are there. You have to complete four courses in one of the specializations. And there is integrated topics in data science and analytics course. There is one, this is a one such course of six units and a six unit uh, internship, which is which could be professional or a research one. So if you talk about the admission requirements, the GPA requirement is on a scale of four. They have given you need to have three in the last two years of full time study. So they don't require from you to have this minimum GPA criteria for the whole of your studies. But in the last two years of your final undergraduate study, you need to have three out of four minimum. And as for the degree requirements, you need to have four year undergraduate degree from a recognized institution don't hold the grudge with that i'll be telling about the india specific requirements there are different india specific requirements for this course i'll be telling you in a while and also you have to have b grade in all these courses the courses are in computer programming in statistics and one course in either calculus or linear algebra or equivalent so you need to pass these three subjects with a minimum grade of b the documents required are resume and CV. Here they are written only this, but I will explain in detail in a while. Reference letter, they have given optional, but uh, while they are asking for documents, they will give you there the option to give the reference letter. And uh, test scores, none. This is partially correct, partially not correct. I will tell about this as well. English language proficiency. So if you have a bachelor's degree from an institute where the English is recognized as the language of instruction, then you are exempt from providing the ELP scores. Otherwise, you will have to provide English language proficiency score, which are if you give the TOEFL IBT, you have to have a score of 86 out of 120 and no less than 20 in each of the individual sections. For IELTS, you need to have a score of 6.5 and section wise cutoff is 6. PTE is also accepted with a score of 59 CAEL is also accepted with a score of 70 and section wise 60 score is minimum criteria and ACC is another score you need to have a B plus in each course so this is something new I don't know about 
as for the deadlines for the September intake, that is fall 2022, the admissions are open now from 1st of November and will run on till February 1st for the international students. So if you are looking out for this course, you have a time till February 1 and the application is just open on November 1. These are the same deadlines for every year. So suppose you are go trying to go for winter semester. So winter 2022 is not possible now. But if you intend to go for winter semester, that is winter 2023. So the application deadline for you would be July 16. So this was about the requirements. Let's look at the country specific requirements. So this is the page where uh, you can find so for India, you need to have a four year bachelor's degree with first class division. So this strictly said that you don't need to convert the minimum GPA that three on a four point scale. You don't need to convert it will give you the country specific requirements for India. You have to have a first class division that is need to have at least an eight or there is a relaxation of 0.5 if you are from IIT. So 7.5 out of 10 if you belong to an IIT. If you are a student from three year degree, there is still chance for you given that you hold a master's degree as well. So you need to have a master's degree along with a bachelor's degree if you have completed a three year course. So you are also eligible given you have a master's degree, not a professional certificate or anything, but a master's degree, valid master's degree. So this was about India and this page also includes other country as well. So if you are a student from maybe Nepal, Pakistan, Bangladesh, Bhutan, you are watching this video and looking out for some country specific requirements, you can explore this page. I will pass this link. Similarly, this goes with African students as well. So if you are watching this video and you are looking out for some country specific requirement, this is the page for the African countries. I will pass on this link as well in the video description. Most of the things about this course is listed in the FAQ section. So I will go on to this FAQ section before I go to how to apply. So for this, when can I apply for fall 22? I told you that November 1, as of November 1, the application portal for fall 2022 is open and you have a deadline till February 1. So you go apply for this particular course if you are uh, ready for this. And uh, when will I hear about my application status? So for winter 2022, they told that the results were uh, sent uh, by the end of the October. So if you are looking out for winter 2023, you can expect your result to come out uh, by end of October 2022 next year. And for fall 2022, international students, they start receiving the application status from January 2022. And... Uh, no later than May 2022. So um, by no later than May 2022, you will get the status of your application if you are accepted or rejected. And if we talk about how much will it cost, so the costs included are the tuition fees for international students. This is we what we're concerned about. So this is a per unit course based fee structure. But if we include all the courses that you have to study, that is a 36 unit course. So that totals up to $44,880. You're going for this particular course, 30 units plus six internship units. So your total uh, would be $44,880 Canadian dollars which if we convert to Indian rupees would correspond to 26,68,500 Indian rupees as of the current rate. What is the program duration for masters? It is 12 months. So you have this 12 month course that you can complete in 12 months. So one year is the time that you can complete this course. And if we talk about uh, internships, so for the internship is you have to complete 200 hour professional internship in industry, but under certain some circumstances, student may complete a research internship as well. So this is a six credit course you have to complete. This is the course which is having the most weight in uh, the whole curriculum. So you have to look out for this and you will be provided with some good internships. Uh, they have internship partners uh, where you will be interning and that too would not be free. You will be getting paid for that. So how does the application reference uh, form work? So unlike any other university where you will be providing an independent letter, you will be asking from your professor to provide you a reference letter. Here you will be completing that references through an online form that is generated as a part of your application. And these references could either be professional or academic based on your interest, whatever you want to submit. So these were some things that I wanted as a part of uh, this FAQ section. And this is uh, something that they have given for you to analyze your condition. So 
this is a page this is kind of a form that will ask you some questions and based on that it will uh, let you know that if you fulfill the minimum eligibility criteria or not finally that you have made your mind to apply to this particular course now how to apply so for regular students what you have to do is collect the documentation so all the documents that you have to submit you have to collect that documents and check your program requirements as i already told this link will help you out and you have to find out which documents and forms you will need to prepare so i have already told you what are the documents required for you so you don't need to go into that so documents are collected now or next you have to gather the references so you have to contact your professors or maybe any potential referee maybe from professional background whatever you like so you have to contact them and you have to gather the references and you start writing your application so you have to create an eid so they have their own portal you have to create an eid and you have to apply online they request you to save and continue very often because it must be a very exhaustive application form so it is advisable to save and continue very often and finally you have to submit the application so for that you have to pay a fee of 145 canadian dollars uh, for the international students and if you convert it into indian rupees it would correspond to around 8600 inr as of the current rate now the required documents this there's this official transcripts that you have to send you have to upload this into the portal and uh, you have to give a reference letters you have to give your curriculum vitae basically your cv you have to give your study proposal that is nothing but uh, sop they have given a fancy name to that and uh, a writing sample is something like if you have some research and all so they are asking for maybe some couple of papers or maybe any paper you have written in your undergraduate or masters degree so they are asking for that sample that is i think not compulsory but it will be ideal because they have written specifically so it would be a very ideal condition if you have some papers in your arsenal standardized test so apart from the english test they don't have any standardized test requirement if you have not studied from a university where english is the language of instruction we'll have to provide the scores as i told you based on the minimum requirements and document translation so if your transcript say is not in english maybe in another language you have to provide the translation of your transcript as well and the program documents there is an exhaustive uh, link where you can see how to upload supporting documents and how to view the application status i will not go into that you can explore it out as for the internship if you are worried about i'm not going to go into this document detail because this is meant for the employers but i am only exploring this just because to let you know that this is the amount that the student generally gets so this is the average salary for science students uh this is 24 dollars per hour and this is the document that they have prepared for the prospective employers who are looking out for people from the university of calgary for doing an internship in their companies so the the companies come to the campus and they hire students for internships and if you multiply 24 by 200 which is the minimum requirement so you will be earning around 4800 canadian dollars in a span of 4 months and that would correspond to around 285000 dnr so right before starting your job you are already earning this much of amount and you will also be getting a chance for a ppo so this is a good opportunity for you guys and you will be getting good internship experience good internship exposure and finally maybe a ppo with the same company as well so this was all about this brilliant course i hope you like this course and you will go apply for this course as well and i will keep coming with other brilliant data science courses till then keep sharing this course and other courses on the channel explore all other courses that i have posted you can have a look on my channel until the next video or wa